This is Jenny Fusillo with Major League Lacrosse. Today I'm speaking with MLL analyst Evan Washburn about the Florida launch. Evan, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Jenny. So, Evan, some of the key players that I wanted to talk to on the Florida launch, especially Kieran McCardle, he was the 2014 Rookie of the Year. And year two is a, usually a hard transition for players. They're not coming from a collegiate program anymore. So how do you think Kieran has done in the offseason, and how will his 2015 season begin? Uh, I have every expectation that Kieran McCardle will have another uh, very productive year. Uh, in the little time I got to know him over the course of the summer, he seems like a guy who's pretty motivated um, in terms of wanting to be one of the top players in this league and in this game. And uh, I, I think he'll benefit from the obvious additions uh, that the Florida launch uh, offense has made in terms of Lyle Thompson and, and then another year playing with Casey Powell. So I have every expectation that Kieran McCardle – uh, will again put up big time numbers. He's so dynamic. I mean, he comes out of the box as a midfielder. He can play a traditional attack role. He doesn't need to dominate the ball to be successful. He can be a finisher. So the fact that he can do so many things uh, makes him a valuable player, not only for the launch, but in this league. And in terms of motivation, there was nothing that I saw or heard um, over the course of a season watching and working with him that would give me the idea that he'd come into this year any less prepared. Now, what about Casey Powell? He's coming off his MVP season with 63 points, but he's a 12-year veteran in the league, and he's 39. Do you think at his age he can have continued success? What he did last year uh, sort of questioned any um, real conventional wisdom I had, anyone had, about what you can and can't do at his age with his experience, with the amount of lacrosse he's played. So as I sit here now, I wouldn't even begin to question what he can do. I do think, and I spoke with Stan Ross about it at the draft, um, the head coach of the launch, that he may take some time, uh, take some games off here and there, depending on where they stand. Uh, he played straight through last year, and, and by the end, it, it was clear it was starting to wear on him a little bit. So think of it like um, the San Antonio, San Antonio Spurs um, and the way they manage some of their older players, whether it be Tim Duncan, Manny Ginobili. Um, there'll be calculated ways to get him some rest, and that's, again, where it benefits having a guy like Kieran McCardle and Lyle Thompson, um, younger players to come in and be able to take some of the workload off of Casey Powell because he was the main ball carrier in that offense. And, and I, I don't necessarily think that's the ideal situation um, this season. But make no mistake, he's going to play and he's going to play well and, and have a big impact. So what do you foresee for the 2015 season for the launch with these players? Well, we talked a lot about their offense. I think it all stands on what their defense can do. It was uh, pretty pathetic last year. They gave up nearly 14 goals per game, um, and that's with really talented players. Uh, Brett Queener is a great goalie, all-star caliber player, up and down, obviously. Um, and Tucker Durkin, I think, um, is right now possibly the best defenseman in the game. Mike Manley um, can have that argument. That's a, that's a great battle at that position. But they lacked any continuity, um, chemistry. The communication was really bad. So if that unit can clean things up, um, I think this team can be can be very good. Uh, it can be in that top four uh, conversation. But to me, it's, it's defensively, what are you going to have? How healthy will Casey be throughout the season? And will Lyle Thompson's um, appearance, emergence, however you want to put it, with the group uh, work as well as we all hope it will? Well, I'll be interested to see how it all plays out. Thanks, Evan. Of course. Thank you.